Hello, welcome to Design Time. I'm Jackie Lacey. Today we wanted to talk about the meaning of flowers and the message that they can convey in addition to sending a beautiful design. So we're going to combine several different floral products and what you might want to remember in sending this to someone, you might need to tell them the meaning of that particular flower or tell the sender the meaning so that they can convey that message to the recipient. Everyone doesn't know each meaning of each individual variety, so make sure that you do pass that along so you get the value of knowing what the meanings are. We're going to start with gladiolas. Gladiolas are a very hardy flower. They give us long life, very good shape, shelf life, and you can cut the blooms up individually, just like so, so that you can use those down below for a little more compact work. As we start to put this together, remember that gladiolas represent integrity. So that might be something that you can use for several different things, a thank you or something that you're going to pass along to someone else. But integrity and strength is the message that a gladiola can convey. As we start to insert these, and I'm starting here because I do have those pieces that are cut a little bit smaller. We want, we want to make sure that they're going to cover our mechanics. One thing I want to mention right up front, when you're using moss with a design, don't forget that moss is a wicker. Make sure that you have pushed all the moss to the inside of the container. That way, as it starts to wick that water out, it's not going to leak all over the table. That's very important when you're sending out because we don't know exactly where that might be used. So always think about things like that as you begin to put your designs together. I like to layer in a little bit of the foliage as I'm building the design. That way I don't have to try to go back in and work something under that's very challenging or might be in an awkward position and might not get that out there. What says love better than a rose? That's the meaning that everyone says, especially with a red rose. Each color of each variety is also going to carry an individual meaning and it depends on which list you look at as well. So make sure though with the red rose that almost always stands for love. So when we want to send someone our love, insert a red rose or two and that's going to tell them right away that they are loved and being thought of. As we start to add these in, and I'm doing a little bit of a monochromatic design to begin with. We could continue with that solid red, which would maintain our monochromatic color. Maybe layer in some carnations down there around the base. That's going to add another red color. Or we can start to build in some other varieties, like the Bird of Paradise. Bird of Paradise represent, represents joyfulness and, of course, paradise because when we look at a bird of paradise, don't we automatically think of paradise being someplace beautiful, close to the ocean? Layering in your accessories with these designs are not going to always convey a different message, but we wanna also add those in as we build our design to make sure that those are going to be in a prominent pace and those can be seen right away when the design is completed. As we continue to put in a few more varieties, one of the other flowers that I want to talk about is a chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemums used to stand for royalty. You were only allowed to use chrysanthemum in the Asian culture if you belonged to the court of the king. Adding it into design is a great way to base that product with something that is inexpensive but also has this beautiful green chartreuse color that's going to help us bring in that other color and draw attention to where we've added in those accessories. The calla lily. Calla lily stands for magnificent beauty. Now these happen to be the Schwarzwalder, which are very dark and may add too much dark color to that design. So I'm going to skip that by adding it in or by leaving it out and continue with some of the other varieties that we've already talked about. The red rose, we're adding in a little bit more love because no one can have enough love in their life. We want to make sure that we are adding some to the back of the design so that everything isn't just face forward because we also are not quite certain where this design may be placed once the recipient receives it. Finishing off 
towards the back with a couple more of those gladiola blooms. And then I do have just a little place right back here that would be a great place to put in a broad leaf that you can see is going to help add weight to the design because it's important as we start to build that design, we have action and reaction and you don't want things to be too top heavy. Making sure that you've added in just a little touch of something that takes it to that next level and creates a beautiful design that can be sent out for any occasion. So think about the message that you want to convey when you send out that design. Like I said, be sure and tell the sender so they can share it with the person that's going to receive it. Thanks again. Hope you enjoy us next time for Design Time.